comes again. Yabayenu, very short, so that you can go home and uh, break your fast. But, Minyanum, Muyajin Kagra. One or two points I'd like to make. So, Mukai said, Doom so, doom so, no, oh, I have a midwife. Fine. A few days ago, I think two days or so ago, me who were Ghanaian times, or yesterday, a picture of Yampol's new Baku. Somewhere, now a jack as on us here. Naturally, it won't stand. It may collapse. It will short circuit. Electricity will not get to the next stage. Yen time, no. Why am I saying this to you? You come from all over Ghana. We now have mobile phones. You can telephone your people in the various parts of the country to be a little more responsible, to take responsibility for these poles. Yen time no. Gangs, uh, assembly people, wamu ya wamu gangs, in various places, and go and weed the little bush and brush around the wooden sticks. The older ones, bibuana, that is all you have to do. You want electricity, you can get it. Now you've got it. You have to do so simply because we're not feeling responsible enough to go and at the brush, brush under the, the teak. We could take the electricity around because it was the cheapest and the most economical way of getting electricity to various parts of the country. In Timon country, yeah, people, this is no NDC MPP matter. This is electricity that we all need. Nah. Thank you. Unity comes at a price. So unity, no, it comes at a price. And it's not asking for plenty of money. It's only asking for truthfulness. It's only asking for uh, integrity, sincerity. Misha Black, Miguada. I went to a funeral yesterday of our family head. His name is um, was Mr. Alexa Chago. Today I traveled to the Volta region, Yakuago, yeah, another mass. Yes, Sienu, Namibaha. Time I Yeba. 82, no. I believe he was the governor of the Bank of Ghana. Now, me, some of my advisors, one more country, I said, you know, free up. Me, name knew that well. And the people I had were very competent, smart people, too. Universities, etc. Lecturers, me, nyama, nyama. My final said, Jama, his economic, political philosophy runs counter to ours. That's why they want him out. I didn't hesitate. I had no time for that. I, I was devoting a lot of time to the security situation in the country. Many years down the line, when I got to know this man a little more, a little better, I discovered what a brilliant man he was, how smart he was. I discovered how wise he was. And I really regretted my action earlier. I found a fine opportunity in a public place one day, and I expressed, I expressed my, my regrets, and I apologized for what I did.
Ladies and gentlemen, not too long after that, we got together. He joined us and helped us. He brought his wisdom, his experience to bear on decisions, economic, financial decisions. He gave us his best. He was a real patriot. Say, I see unity. This is, I became united with that man. I apologized and I meant it. He could have turned his back and I wouldn't have stabbed him. I could have turned my back and he wouldn't stab me. Sincerity. Truthfulness. That I can believe in him and he can believe in me. Moutier. So you see, unity, are we serious? How often haven't we gone through this kind of stage? to undermine it I survived for 10 years went to elections twice and I survived 8 years because I know our potential strength and I did nothing and I did never I never wanted to undermine it in any way if I had 10 years revolution would have been the end if not earlier or the very first term Whatever happened? How do we squander it this way? Listen, NPP, I keep telling you who they are, their background, etc. Muntwe? Yeah. Just a minute. They can easily, whether you pump money into them, you try to corrupt them, you don't try to corrupt them. There's a certain a certain consistency by virtue of who and what they are. And that figure in terms of elections could invariably always be the same. You and I don't have the consistencies of the MPP. We have a different type of consistency. But we appear unable, unable to hold on to that consistency. And yet, you, we are so potentially strong and powerful that we could virtually win every election all the time. If we recognize our strengths and dealt with our weaknesses, and precisely because of that, certain powers have invested in certain personalities to do business and to do politics in this country in order to take away from you in the NDC. It is far from me. 
so that there will be a better balance between us and the NPP. Indeed, my power more recognize it, get to know it. Young, we are not as consistent as they are, and because of that, we will go up and down, up and down. If we mess around, we go down. We don't mess around, we stay up. We didn't have to. We didn't have to mess up. But I think we easily get spoiled. Power corrupts us too quickly, too easily. While we were in power, MPP was doing door to door, were seriously campaigning on the ground. We need to re-examine ourselves. We need some serious education, not just propaganda stuff. If we need, the, the younger generation, 20 years and, and below, know very little about where we've come from. How many of us know enough to be able to impart the history of who we are where, and where we're coming from? One day, I'd like for us to meet here and I will tell you some very interesting story. The biggest 419, political 419, that was pulled on us, right in front of us. And that 419 is still there. And if we couldn't prevent it, if we seem unable to do anything about it, then I ask myself, where is this? What's the power of our conviction? Even when we were office, the way they were harassing us, the ease with which they got away with 204. Is it called 204? Yeah, 204. They couldn't mess around with 208 because the country would have blown up. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I will stop here and leave you to go home and think about what I'm saying. That you're capable of almost, you could nearly be a one-party state. That's not because we want it that way. Nobody wants it that way. But because of the nature of the revolt, the, the roots of NDC, PNDC, AFRC, it has put you in a big advantageous position. But can you hold on to what it takes to remain strong? Can you? If not, they will continue to beat us. I'm saying, on your own, you could have just won one election after the other. A foreign power had to, let me repeat it, had to invest in some Ghanaians to go into business, good plenty money, and to fund political parties just to keep your number down, to be at par with opposition. You don't see it? In spite of that, in spite of that, your chances are still good. By virtue of who you are and where you're coming from. Don't, I'm not here to discourage you. I just want you to recognize that it's not an easy task, but it's inexpensive. Let's come clean, not just at the top, but from the bottom all the way up. You see accountability.
Kino and your corruption. If you don't do accountability in your business, how did you know? Say what for half. Simple. The companies you work for, they all do accountability. Ladies and gentlemen, when we had the PDC, WDCs, etc., it was possible for you as a people, grassroots and the workplaces to own, to own the power of accountability, the power of demanding the truth, the power of ensuring the right thing was done. But the revolution did away with it. Sorry, the constitution. That does not mean that there's no other way. You're human. You've got to be assertive about what is right. You see, accountability. If we don't do serious accountability, you know, how can we correct the mistakes that we, we made which caused the failure of this party? Did we put in all NDC people? In some of those cases, yeah, the MP before Diko share Yahuma no expecting them to vote for you to become an MP or whatever. And you think that person will vote for your party when the time comes? Hostel. Come, come. Are you sure you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Come, come, come. party register now. Yeah, the photo primaries, no. But yeah, throw the no. Yeah, my MPP for be yeah then. Ebe Ramu, or no, no, or come once and to a day a young wage man. Now you're correcting it now. Say, I'm correct here. How are we going to do? You're supposed to know them because you did not stand up to them. And can I hear the same thing against Zanetto and Jiman Rowling? She stood up against them and she made sure they did not put the wrong names. I didn't help her. Why can't you do the same? We all have a role to play to protect it. Matiana, so we see accountability in The prevention of corruption is not just for the NDC. This is one unit within the country. One, you know, and it's part of our nature anyway. It's part of our nature. The country can benefit from you. So you see a unit here, you have to make sure we are doing so with sincerity and not, you know, knifing each other. God bless you all. Thank you very much. We are going to cut our birthday cake. We are going to we are proud of the party.